वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर अरविंद कुमार शर्मा डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ लाइब्रेरी एंड इंफॉर्मेशन साइंस महारानी लक्ष्मी भाई गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज ऑफ एक्सीलेंस ग्वालियर द प्रजेंट मॉड्यूल ट्वेंटी फोर इज एसोसिएटेड विद पब्लिक लाइब्रेरी सीनेरियो इन इंडिया अंडर द पेपर पब्लिक लाइब्रेरी द पेपर डिस्क्राइब्स the public library in ancient india medieval india british period and post independence period public libraries were the integral part of society and they have played an important role in the socio economic development of the people human civilization has seen many phases of development such as agrarian society industrial society information society knowledge society and learning society in each phase information and knowledge have played an important role in all walks of life the present society can be characterized as the learning society now learning and relearning are the lifelong processes public library is one of the important learning center and librarians are the facilitator for lifelong learning since early days libraries have been preserving and disseminating information and knowledge to the members of the society a society felt and believed in democratization of natural resources or equal distribution of natural resources information and knowledge have also been considered as natural resource in ancient india oral system of education prevailed in the society and gurukul system was in vogue for imparting education and following were the famous seats of learning in the ancient india namely takshashila nalanda vikramshila odantpuri sompuri jagaddal mithila balbi kaneri and these all were the university engaged in teaching writing and translating the materials the learning center were having a good library during medieval period some of the emperors rulers temples buddha viharas jain temples and madrasas were said to have libraries these libraries were not open to general public only the member of ruling class educationists and select few were allowed to use them the concept of public library had its roots in western world with the british rulers and men of administration the idea of public library also originated and flourished in india in 1808 bombay government now mumbai initiated proposal to register libraries for financial grants these libraries were to receive free copies of reading materials published from the funds for the encouragement of literature this step was the first step towards library movement in modern india during this period libraries of princely states were having good collection of books and other materials important libraries includes rampur raza library at raimpur maharaja sar faroji ए सरस्वती महल लाइब्रेरी एट तंजावर सफदर जंग कलेक्शन एट हैदराबाद खुदा बख्श ओरिएंटल लाइब्रेरी एट पटना बोहार लाइब्रेरी एट कलकत्ता post independence era the government of india and other agencies engaged in the development of public libraries in india they have established a number of libraries in rural and urban areas delhi public library was established with the help of unesco in 1951 
India is a country of villages. For the administration of villages, Panchayati Raj system has been adopted. This system helps the local people to take active part in preparation and implementation of rural development program. There are three levels of Panchayati Raj system today. Panchayats have become a backbone of socio-economic development of rural regions in India. The 73rd Amendments in 1993 Constitution Act came into force to provide the constitutional status to Panchayat Raj system. In Indian context, the scenario of public libraries has various dimensions and challenges. The challenges are as follows. Public libraries are state subject. Central and state deals in different manner. Only 19 states have enacted Public Libraries Act. The application of Public Library Acts also differs from state to state. Different ministries deal with the public libraries such as Ministry of Education, Ministry of Culture and Ministry of Social Justice.